Hi, I'm Antonio Grasso from Italy. I live in Italy. I work in Italy. I have my company is a startup that operates in digital transformation consulting. We work every day with our with emerging technology with our customer, and also I collaborate with large multinational brands, you know, as author, leader, tough leadership and uh, influencer. I started 36 years ago as a software developer, and then I, I shifted from uh, software development to software architect, but I, I, I am uh, uh, close to the engineer, so I start from transistor and then go up in the level level till artificial intelligence. I worked for public sector and also uh, company in software projects. So I am a software, I'm a software passionate. I really like it and now I am very close to how the software is changing our world because when we talk about blockchain, we talk about artificial intelligence, etc. We talk about software. So <laughs> I offer to them a bit of me. Uh, I, I work with a passion, also with the Siemens. So for Intel, for example, I am an Intel software innovator. I work with Intel IoT, try to, you know, to spread the world the most important information about uh, Internet of Things. With the Siemens, I have a good collaboration with the Siemens. We are building to changing uh, the enterprise communication in a, in a disintermediated world. Uh, I work also with Huawei, with many other companies. Uh, but at, uh, yeah, <clears throat> what I feel is every time, every day, passion. So I work with uh, passion also with this large brand. Uh, they're working differently with large brand, with the small company startup in Italy. They, I, I'm leading to success, hopefully. <laughs> ah, do if I trust in tech? Uh, for sure, yes, I trust in technology because technology never hammered the, something it's the human that use technology that can be dangerous so i trust in tech i trust a bit less in the human that use technology let me say this so yes i tr definitely i trust in tech but i don't trust 100 percent human that use technology when we talk about digital transformation uh, we talk about an effect, not a cause. The cause is digital diffusion. You know, when we have digital diffusion, it is, uh, we have at the fingertip uh, the mobile phone that is uh, connecting the, with, the, with the things, with other people, etc. But let me say it, we do not confuse digitalization with digital transformation. Digital transformation is a big movement, is a big shift that is happening in our society and is affecting our society, our economy and our institution, driven by digital diffusion. I think it will become ever more bigger and bigger and the future is very, very interesting, very amazing to see what's happening in the future. I fear about security. I think uh, we need to, but uh, yes, I, I fear, but we have no great possibility to, a great ability to say that the system is 100% secure. So we need to deal, we need to uh, work in a preemptive, we need to, in advance, try to understand what are the risks or what you are doing, and we need to do more action on. Uh, preemptive that uh, on uh, uh, repairing the damage so I think in my view for example act before changing your password updating your system and not only cry later digital technology are changing our life we are becoming better human in this context we cannot avoid to help other people using technology we have no reason now we can reach people also with a like, with a message, with something that we can share with them. I say every time, I, I have an Instagram channel and Facebook channel that are devoted to help young people, young entrepreneurs in developing countries. Each day I share one post of my knowledge, try to help them to understand what is happening in our world. It's like share a bit of you. So, don't send only electrons over the internet cable. Send also a bit of you, a bit of your heart. You can help some. You can help many people. So this is the real meaning, the real purpose of human being: elevate yourself and helping also other people.